Hello guys, welcome to this video. As you already saw in the intro, I finally got my self-made side vents on the car. Um, they're on and they're rock solid. Um, I glued them on. Um, I will put a clip in. I glued them on with like chassis or body glue, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the process, how I made them and yeah, everything about it. So they're basically the, I took a 3D scan of the side panel. Like um, you can do that with uh, normal <laughs> photos and then some freeware software, um, which then puts all the pictures together to a 3D model. Um, it's yeah a pretty rough 3d model but it works but I had to uh, cover every surface or every edge that I wanted to see in the 3d scan I had to tape that up because uh, this method doesn't work on like reflecting surfaces like the shiny uh, paint um, but once I had the 3d model I designed designed the vent like you can see it um, in CAD and with this, uh, this model that I made, um, I then 3D printed the, yeah, the general shape of the vent. And once that was printed, I test fitted it and yeah, everything <laughs> worked perfect. And then I glued the pieces together because I had to print it in two pieces. It's like separated right here somewhere, um, which you can uh, put together and then glue together. And once that was done, um, I took, um, how do you call it, resin and fiberglass and wrapped this whole thing um, in little sheets of, of fiberglass and then it really gets really solid. Um, yeah, that I didn't have to do it because I think it would have been sturdy enough just with a layer of um, resin. But yeah, I wanted to be extra safe, so I put on some fiberglass, but that was a huge pain in the ass because I had to uh, like grind or sand, sand is the word, sand for hours to get that uh, fairly smooth again. But as you can see, the, the surface isn't perfect, but it's pretty good, I would say. Um, and after days of sanding, um, I finally got it to a point where I said, yeah, that's um, fine for me. And then I, yeah, wanted to paint it, but that didn't really work and I didn't have the paint. So I just took some black uh, wrap that we had laying around and this uh, black wrap seem, appears to be the exact color of the car. So <laughs> um, that's pretty good because the Toyota or Black Onyx or 202 code, uh, that's the code from the paint, I think, um, from the factory. So that matches pretty, matches up pretty good with the no normal um, black wrap. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. I also got it on the other side. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about the vent, um, I also, um, I don't know if you can see it on the video, right in there, because in Germany, um, as you might have noticed in my previous videos, <laughs> when I talked about engine swaps and everything, um, yeah, if you want to uh, watch that video where I talked about the plants on my MRS, you can check that up here if you want. Um, but yeah, as I said there, in Germany you need to have everything extra safe and extra 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 safe <laughs> so I also like glued in a little piece of metal um, right in here which is then screwed into the existing side vent so I drilled a hole in the old vent and glued a nut on the back and then you can just put a screw in there and even if the if the glue should fail um, which it will never do because this is, I can shake the whole car when I pull on it. Um, this is rock solid, um, but even if it would fail, uh, this thing wouldn't fly off because it's 
still secured with that bolt so yeah it's bullshit but uh, <laughs> maybe you will get it will also be able to get it legal in germany just with the glue but yeah it's always uh, expensive inspections and everything but um, that's how it is and yeah if you have any other questions leave them in the comments below and yeah i would see i would say um, i'll see you in the next video and yeah bye for now <laughs>